Hello, welcome to Credit Matters TV. I'm Jeff Sexton. Today I'm joined by Shang Lao for a discussion of China bank ratings. Shang, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me here, Jeff. Uh, in a recent report, we discussed the potential divergence in China bank ratings. What would be driving that potential divergence? We see two major reasons for this divergence across the mid-sized bank and the big banks in China. Number one, the mid-sized banks have been growing much faster than mega banks. And number two, we see uh, some heightened credit losses for these mid-sized banks, which are more exposed to coastal region economies. So when we're thinking about those credit losses and the report, what does it tell us about lending for China banks? Yeah, actually, since starting from uh, two years ago, we have seen, have been seeing uh, some downside cycles throughout the sector. However, uh, the coastal region economies have been seeing uh, much greater pressures uh, than the, the whole China because of the exposures to uh, offshore economy. So that's why uh, the credit losses in that region uh, actually is much higher than the uh, the, the whole China. Uh, but the, at the meantime, uh, the, as mentioned earlier, the mid-sized banks have much greater exposures to the coastal region economy. That's why they've been suffering uh, because of this uh, the downturn. So, and again, looking at what we highlighted in the report, how does government support play into our uh, outlook and ratings for the China bank sector? The government support actually is a very important reason why uh, the mega banks may, uh, in terms of rating, uh, may be more resilient than smaller banks. Uh, that's because we view the uh, the big uh, bigger banks as government-related entities, entities, and the belief there would be very high likelihood of extraordinary support from the Chinese government. While compared to the mega banks, the mid-sized banks, uh, though also being regarded as a uh, systemic bank with moderate importance, uh, uh, so but uh, uh, the support, the government support being factored into the rating is lower than the support being factored into the mega banks. Excellent. With that, I'd like to thank Chiang Lao for joining us for this insight into the China bank ratings. And from all of us here at Standard & Poor's, thank you and take care.